Let's find the intersection of the set uh, 1, 3 intersected with 2, 7 solution. So to find the intersection, um, maybe the easiest way to do it is to graph uh, both of these sets. So first we'll start by graphing the set bracket 1, 3 parentheses. So to graph the set, you just draw a number line. And then you plot the endpoints, so 1 and maybe 3. And then this one has a bracket, so we put a bracket here. This one has a parentheses. And then we shade everything in between, so I'll use yellow for the shading. Okay, so there's the first set. Okay, the second set is parentheses 2, comma, 7, bracket. So now when we graph the number line, we really want to um, line these up correctly. So 2 is somewhere between 1 and 3, so I'm going to put it right there. There's our 2. And then 7 maybe is over here. Okay, the 2 has a parentheses, so I'll use a parentheses. And the 7 has a bracket. And it's this yellow region here that we want. All right, so now that we've graphed uh, both sets, uh, we find the intersection. So the intersection is what the two sets have in common. So I'm going to use red here to indicate what they have in common. So notice here the two. So here the two is not included because there's a parentheses, but here it is included. So we don't include the two. So if we draw our new picture, it'll be parentheses two. Here the three is not included, but it is included here. So uh, they don't have it in common, so we don't include the three. So parentheses three. Everything in between the two and three, they do have in common, right? So the answer would be this region here. So you would write that in interval notation straight from the picture. It would be parentheses two, comma, three. So again, recap. First thing you do is you graph each set. And then it's the intersection. So it's what they have in common. So you can see it's this piece here that they have in common. And so you have parentheses on both. And that's it. I hope this has been helpful.